Hi, this is Destiny from Desfix and welcome back to another video in the channel. And on this one, we're going to go ahead and start working with actually configuring the HTML to be able to send data over to jQuery, which we then descend to the server that we wrote in the last one. That is what we'll be doing in this video. Hopefully you enjoyed the video and learned something new. Check out some of the courses in the description below as one of them will help you become even a better Python Django developer. So let's go ahead and get started. Structuring the HTML to be able to send data over to jQuery, or let me put it this way, structuring the HTML so that jQuery can be able to grab data from our template is actually quite simple. And to do that, I will start off by opening up my code editor, open up my template, hotel, and room type detail. So remember where we actually ran uh, the for loop, which is here, right? We want to perform a couple of operations here. I removed some of the data that, or some of the values that has already been typed in so that you can better understand what's going on when we do this from scratch. So if you've gotten to this section where we wrote the for loop, what we want to do here is actually quite simple. We will start off by sending the room ID and the room number over to the server or instead over to jQuery, not the server. So we have to do that down here. I will say input and for this one, let's leave the type as text for now. And um, I will use a class instead of an ID. And for this one, I will say room underscore ID underscore. Then we want to append the room ID. Remember the room ID is associated to this R over here, which means we can now say R the ID. So now we will have something that looks similar to room underscore ID underscore three, underscore three or four or one or two or whatever number. Okay. So after you've done this, that's pretty much what you want to do. We also want to pass in the value which we will be sending, which is the actual room dot ID. And finally, in an ID, I want to pass in the ID that we will use to identify what input this is. And that is going to be room underscore ID. Now you can also do this in the class, but let's just work with this from the ID. After you've done this, we need one more. And that's one will be the room underscore number underscore, then R dot ID. And the value that we will be sending over to jQuery will be R dot room underscore number. Remember when we did this over here, we got the room number. Now that's how we're grabbing the room number here. And whenever we call this, uh oh, this shouldn't be type, but a class. The type should be text. So whenever we call this class here and call dot val, we'll be able to grab whatever value that we have over here. And the ID that we need to be able to identify this input will be room number. So to run the code, I will pretty much open this up on my on my default browser, which is Chrome, and open up one of the hotels that we have over here. For example, for example, the I don't know. Let's let me check out the boat. Okay, the first hotel doesn't have any room, but the other hotel has king and luxury room. So if you can still remember what we did in the previous videos, you will know that when we select, okay, this ID is still showing up over here. You can make this hidden, okay? Let's even do that right now. Um, hotel underscore detail. That should be somewhere here. And that's here. So I will make this hidden. There is no need for that to show. So when we select a check-in date and also select a checkout date, and select two adults and three children and select the type of room that we want and hit check availability. Now, see that it appends all this data over here to the URL, right? We will then be able to grab some data from here and send it over to the server. But before that, let's actually talk about what made us come to this page. See, 5162, showing up perfectly well. So in this room over here, we have 
let's see what it is actually the first one is the room id so this is the id of the room this one and this one is the room number so this is room number one and room number two look at it here room number one room number two but the object id is this five and six so after getting those two informations that's pretty much what we want for now the next thing that we want is to go ahead and grab a couple of information from this url here so how do we do that just down here create a couple more input fields this one is going to have a value of let me say hotel the id wrap this in double coily brackets and the id that you want to give to this should just be id okay this is a text so now when we reload this page see we have this as number two and we need a couple more hotel dot name and this one you could just give it hotel underscore name mm. Okay, and also for this one, I'm going to say room underscore type dot type, then see luxury. So it knows this based on this, based on this and this hotel over here and also the hotel ID. Now from the next one, we will start getting details based on this. But before we start doing that, let's change the ID of this to room underscore name. I need one more input before we start off with changing of the value in the views. That one is going to be, I think we should get the room underscore type dot price. There you go. So this is going to be remove the name. This is going to be room underscore price. Okay. And I also need number of beds. So number of beds. And this one is going to be room type dot number of beds. Now see. One. So the number of beds in this room is one. So you can see over here beds one. What else do we need? We need the room type room underscore type that means over here you should just say room type the id so you see number one if for any reason you want to go to the next room you will see oh there you go we are in the second room which is the premium hotel so that's why we get this okay we are in the second room which is luxury that's what i was supposed to say not premium hotel premium hotel is the name of the hotel Luxury is the name of the room, which has an ID of two. So give that room type. Then I need to check in, check out adults and children. So for check in, check out adult and children, I will grab that from here in the URL. See, check in, check out adult children. So how do we grab these informations? Grabbing these informations from the URL here is actually quite simple. Open up your hotel views py and in the room type detail if we actually grab id and say this should be equal to request dot get dot get and we say hotel dash id what you to do is whenever this view is rendered it will come in here and look at the url and look at anyone that has a key of hotel id then it will grab its data or its value which is two so now if we print id and over here i just say id the equal to is just to be able to differentiate it from all this code in the terminal and we reload this now see id shows two over here that makes sense right that way we can now grab check in check out adults and children so how do we do that you can actually duplicate this if you want and say check in let me leave the print we will still use that so for this one check in which is the check-in date and also check out which is the checkout date and what else do we need adults and children so over here adults i'm holding down alternates to double select and children 
and you can also grab the room type if you want there is no need for that we already have the room type here let me just leave that there is no need for that so after grabbing all those data if you now log this you'll be able to see them if you print actually not log you'll be able to see them show up in the terminal but what we want to do now is add these to our dictionary so you could duplicate this into four places and i, I want to grab these data and pretty much put it here and here now that is just a shortcut to be able to you know more to select line and put them put that in i held down control and alternate and click the down arrow key choose any selected line that you want let's say at the back of the c hold down control and alternate and click your down arrow key see it will keep selecting on a straight line see that makes sense and if you want to be able to select put your cursor over here on this line as you can see all the lines over here we will not be straight but the ones here are straight so if you want to put your cursor at all the ones here select everything and pretty much type out shift alternate i on your keyboard and you can now see all the cursor are at the end so that was just a little detail now after we've done all this that's pretty much everything that we need back to the room type detail we can now show up the checkout check-in adults and children checkout check-in so we are able to grab this check-in in here because we have passed it over here as check-in so had it been it's apple here that means in the room type detail here it should be apple okay and when we reload this page see despite the fact we added apple it still shows the date but you know just to stick to naming convention i will just call this check-in and if you reload this page now you should see nothing because over here you still have it as apple instead of check-in so check out check-in adults and children adults children and we reload this now see two adults three children and now we have all the data that we will be sending over to jquery i hope all this makes sense we have all this data here and we have all this and now in the next video we will send all this data over to jquery and jquery we then take all this data and send it back to this view over here that we now grab all this data and save it in the session so you can see that it's beginning to make sense because all this hotel id hotel name room name room price number of beds are pretty much the data that we are trying to grab over here which we will send over to jquery that is pretty much it if you are able to actually see this show up over here then that means you are on the right path the final step will be to turn all this to hidden we don't actually need to see them turning it to hidden does not mean that you have removed it it just mean, means that users will not be able to see what's in the input okay so it looks clean and neat without them knowing that something is going on behind the scene so that's pretty much it for the video hopefully you enjoyed it and learned something new in the next one we're going to go ahead and finalize this by actually using jquery to send all those data that we collected back to the add to selection view that we wrote in the previous video that is going to be it to so make sure to drop a like consider subscribing as it really mean the world to me check out some of the courses in the description below for example the django and react e-commerce course it's really good and it will help you become a better Django and React developer while also helping you build a multi-vendor e-commerce system. That is going to be it. I hope to see you in the next video. And until then, my love, peace out.